All right, all right, yo, I'm, I'm really excited. Yo, Shawn Sha Wong, call all y'all about Shamil Shai. It's your brother, Awar, making a video to feed the sheep, to edify the lambs. Shalom to the Aki, I'm not going to be watching this video. Y'all about Shamil Shai, I broke a film. Call all y'all about Shamil Shai. And this, this video is for you native Indian brothers out there, man. This one is for you because it's not enough it's not enough for us to 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 read it out the scriptures to you. Y'all need y'all need massa, y'all need the white man's um scholar scholars to go and tell you who you are. All right, uh so let me let me just read this one real quick. This is an account from William Penn. Um he wrote a book and I believe he lived around the sixteen hundredth century. After I was just like I'm literally just like I was just looking this up for like five minutes and all this stuff. I got a bunch of tabs opened up, you know. All this stuff out. He has books and all that stuff. So I'm just like, okay, I'm reading this, and then it literally says, the, okay, you know, let me just read. I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at uh, okay, wait, okay, wait. Who? Okay, wait, wait. I didn't even see this part, but let me, let me, let me, let me get a little bit of that. Uh. The, Okay, it says, um, where's a period at? Damn. Okay, here's a period. It says, Gregorio Garcia, in his interesting history on the origin of the Indians, alludes to an ancient Spanish tradition which gives as certain that the natives of America sprang from the tribes of Israel that were led away captive by Solomon Esther, king of Assyria. Right? So then uh, I was reading a little bit more down uh, I, from here where it says William Penn, because that's what I was looking up. Because he made quotes on it. And it says, uh, William Penn, Count Crawford, Thomas Thorogood, Bond, Bond, Bondinot, and several others with regard to the Jewish origin of the Indians, we shall quote Adair, who after having lived 40 years among the tribes of North America, certifies that the natives of the New World are the descendants of the Hebrews. Oh, look at this, look at this. Adair principally grounds his assertions on the Indian customs which actually do in many points bear a close resemblance to those of the Israelites <laughs> yo man this is crazy man so look at this look at this uh this was another this was just an article right it's on this website I'll put the I'll put these articles in the description of anything um so let me get the main point of this yeah, but people now no, apparently we, we we're crazy no, we don't, don't know what we're talking about we're tripping you know but it says but there is also another version All right okay okay it says it holds that their commercial enterprise was just a cover for the true spiritual quest to convert indians to judaism they believed along with many other westerners at the time it's this time was uh, I say it's saying that William Penn was a founder of Pennsylvania, but I'm I'm not sh sure because I was looking it up. And it said it was someone else, but William Penn was around during it was it the 1600s? I was I was checking up. I just have to look it up later. But it says, but anyway, this is not the point. They believed, along with many other Westerners at the time, that the Native American tribes were weren't really indigenous or native at all, but descendants of the ten lost tribes of Israel expelled in 722 B.C.E. from their Middle East. Not Middle East, they call it the Middle East today, but Israel from the from Israel homeland by the Assyrian king Shalmaneser four five. That's five, right? I think that it's four or five. That's four. This leaf was especially pronounced in the province of Pennsylvania, whose founder William Penn once noted the stark physical resemblance between the Indians. Right, so from from there I was like, okay, let me look up this William Penn guy. Right, and then you go and see on this um this Pinterest, this person had a quote. I don't know why it's not opening up. Okay, the quote from William Penn on the Lenny Lenape, the first natives he encountered, letter to the Committee of the Free Society of Traders, sixteen eighty three. The natives I consider in their person, language, manners, religion, and government with my sense of their original original. For their persons, they are generally tall. And look at the way Esau is like describing. He, this is the chosen people of the Most High. You're act, they're treating them like they're they're some 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 commodity. Like they're some sort of special object. Like wow, oh my gosh! You know how the white people get when they see 
see uh Jake dancing in the streets, you know, Jake's doing some special some special dance like the Harlem Shake or whatever, and the white people just gather around like, oh my gosh, look, like it's some like it's some show we're putting on. Anyways, it says for their persons, they are generally tall, straight, well built, and of singular proportion. They tread strong and clever, and mostly walk with a lofty chin. Of complexion, black. See, now they they weren't actually black. They were dark skin. Obviously, a lot of Native Indians, and what they mean, dark skin Native Indians come in all colors and and and, and sizes, right? But after colonization, you know, now they look at the way they do today. But either way, I think I was talking about in the, in the last video that, that that um, you got um, what's it called um, Native Indians coming in, in all shapes and sizes. You got you got Negroes who, who they call black people who go back to Native American uh, forefather. So you can even say you technically you wouldn't even say people would according to Esau's uh, uh, definitions and and terms today you wouldn't call him black. You'd call supposed to call him Native Indian, but because he got woolly hair, oh he he's, he's just black. It's just, it's just retarded, man. But this is he's describing this is back in the 1600s, saying that they were black of complexion, which mean meaning dark skin. But by design, as the gypsies in England, they greased themselves with bear's fat, clarified and using no defense against sun or weather. Their skins must need be swart, swarthy. I have to look up what swarthy means. But it's they don't need they don't need no defense from from the sun. They're 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 melanated people. But the point was that they're saying they're Israelites, man. Um, let me get swarthy. I'm curious what that means. Swarthy, dark skinned. Wow. Hey, shout out to Nakawan. Swarthy. <laughs> shout out to that brother, man. Powerful officer of, of Philly. Okay. So, this is this is the things I was trying to. Uh, I just I just read it. And I'm just like, okay, I'm making a video on this real quick for all you, for you. Um, Native Indian brothers, man, because Gad is a hard tribe to reach. Gad, man, these guys are so disconnected. They need the, they need the, they need the the milk. They need the, the living water. The quicker, the quicker we do this work, the faster and wake everyone up. The quicker we get out of here, go back home. All right, um, let me get that in a clean. Let me get at least a few scriptures for you guys. Thirteen. And 23, I believe. Get yeah, the whole chapter. See, it says Ecclesiastes 13 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? <laughs> and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Right? And that's how they look at poor people when they speak. It's mainly they're mainly talking about the Israelites on the street corners, man, trying to give out the just speaking the truth. But but because they because they're just a bunch of regular so-called niggas, you know, and 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 Latinos, it, it it doesn't mean anything. These guys are just a bunch of bums. Is is all they say. They don't care if it's the truth. See, they they will they willfully be ignorant of the truth at that point, simply because it's coming out of, out of the mouth uh, of the poor. Of the meek, right? Uh, let me get let me get that in in, in Second Ezra's thirteenth chapter. The people people, it's time to wake up, man. There's no time to be be chilling, man. This is Second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse forty. These those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Whom Salmoners, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, which is the fourth part of the earth, the Americas, that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passage, passages of the river. For the Most High then shoot signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsereth. 
But you can look it up online. Arthur, they, Esau's own scholars will tell you or identify that it was that it's known as the Americas, and we don't know. But this is this is what this this was written back in um, Ezra's time, which was around uh, what's it called uh, the time of the was it uh, who was no it was Nehemiah was during the Persians. Ezra was Babylon. I think Ezra was Babylon. You gotta re you gotta recheck these thing these these uh little things, but they but these guys would have known amongst themselves that this place where the Americas or they call the Americas the is called Arsrith, right? The, the Jews and the Israelites would have known among themselves. Which Jews are Israelites, Yahawashai, the world calls Jesus Christ is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, which is also to be known as a Jew today. Okay? And Jews are you so called Negroes, man. You so-called Negroes, uh, mainly a lot of you got put into on them slave ships, which not even just on them slave ships, we're still a lot of us in, in the, uh, we're, you got Negroes in Germany, in England, um, um, Britain, right? All throughout Europe, you got us in Asia, man. And we're on the majority of us were, were, were in the West Coast, right? And then now a lot of us are scattered in, in the Americas now. And um, on, especially on the islands. Now let me get the, the slave coast of West Africa, which they call the Kingdom of Judah. Which was that map, with the map which shows it is from the 1700s, right? And you see that it says on the map, Kingdom of Judah. I don't know if this one will pull it up for me. Let me see if this one does this one have it? No. Okay, no, not this one. Can I go back? Okay. Where is one? Where is one that should have it? Okay, here's one. Somebody just took a picture of a of a map and then they just zoomed in. But here, look, it says K M of Judah or or Wida Slave Coast, and then you got Judah again, right there, Kingdom of Judah, which makes up the three the three tribes that 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 uh built this the, the second temple during the time of Darius. Right, you said it said Judah, Benjamin, and Levi came. You don't hear about the the Israelites. You see, people Israelite is like a new people acting like Israelite is a new word in the earth, because all you hear about is Jews, Jews, Jews. And them Jews, they can't claim they can't claim to be Israelites. Right, they can't claim to be the 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 the, the rest of the tribes, because the prophecy says that all the tribes are going to come back. Right, anyways, so so that was just extra information on that. For anyone who doesn't know, right, let me finish reading through this, right, it says, verse 36, then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now, when they shall begin to come, okay, so they're dwelling there until, the, they're, they said they're going to dwell in there until the, until the latter times, the last days, okay, right, and then Ezra was getting the vision, he asked the most, who are these other multitude, uh, piece of, multitude, Peaceable multitude that you're not destroying, you're putting in, you're not putting in slavery. Because Ezra didn't recognize his brothers and the rest of his brothers and sisters at the time. Now it says, then uh, verse 47, the highest shall stay the springs of the stream again, and they may go through. Therefore, Sasto, the, the multitude with peace. Okay. So the ten tribes are, are he recognized the, the he recognized his other brothers and sisters because he's gonna see a dark he's gonna see the, the Jews the dark skin. Right, but then he's like, then he's seen a bunch of other people looking like the other nations. He's like, well, what's up with this other peaceable multitude? How come they, <laughs> they ain't look like, uh, they ain't look like uh, the rest of the, the rest of our people, right? He says, uh, and it says, and whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him, right? So Ezra was, he was questioned, he was curious, and then the Most I gave him the answer. He's telling him, those are why if. Ez if if why would Ezra ask if he knew how his people looked or if it was a common it was a common um because it was getting an end time vision 
So the, the, right now, Latinos don't look like most of the Latinos don't look like um, uh, uh, how Ezra was looking back then, like the Jews, the dark skin. The same thing with the Native Indians. So he's seeing them, and he's like, "Whoa, what's up with this peaceable multitude, Most High?" Or is he talking to the angel? Um. Anyways, let me get that in Ezekiel thirty-seven, and I'll close. See. See the people of the earth. They don't. They don't. They don't know what's going on, man. We were telling them what's happening. The Most High is making us bear witness in their face before he comes, so he gets the glory. Right? They, they can't say, you know, they can't say nothing against it. But we're giving the we're bearing witness on the Most High. All right? It says Ezekiel 30, 30, 39 and twenty three. Right? And they're really gonna know when the Most High comes and saves us and puts us back in the land. But we're telling them right now. There's uh, some of them are starting to understand. <laughs> right, it says Ezekiel thirty nine twenty three. It says, and the heathen shall the heathen shall know that the house of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, went into captivity for their iniquity. See, people think the white man just woke up one day and said, we're just gonna go raid the Americas and we're gonna steal these 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 uh these Negroes from the west coast of Africa and put them in slavery. That's what they think. That's literally what they think. It's just a coincidence. Because these people don't know the prophecies, man. The, the, the scriptures wasn't given to them. How are they supposed to know in the first place? Right? It says, because they have tried. So let me read that again. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. We're getting killed like crazy out here. Right? Most I didn't. They didn't. The white man didn't wake up one day and say we're gonna put these people in slavery. It's a specific group of people in slavery. We're not gonna take the Chinese land. We're not gonna take the Arabs land, right? We're taking that. We're going for the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. Okay, so let me get Ezekiel thirty-seven, the Valley of Dry Bones. We'll close. We start at verse eleven. Should be good. All right. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna just get out my sword. This thing is taking long. I don't know what Esau sees. Esau must be knowing manager making a video. And let me just slow this down on this Negro. <laughs> so let me get it real quick. I'm in Daniel. Hey man, look, look at the new setup. Got me this new keyboard, new monitor. It's clean, man. It's clean. Oh, uh, so like, let me get this. Yeah, verse 11. No, no. Let me get, um. Yeah, let me start, start at verse 19, man. Um, this is. No, let me start at verse 16. Ezekiel 37 16. Moreover, the son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write it upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, right? Judah, meaning Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Israel, meaning Naphtali, Issachar, Manasseh, no, no, Issachar, um, Reuben, Simeon, Gad. Then Joseph, from Joseph came Ephraim and Manasseh, right? So all 12 tribes we have on the stick. And for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to, an, to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. That's the chart. Right? And then, and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Saying to them, Thus saith Yahweh power. Behold, I will make, I'll take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim. Right? Because Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with even the even with the stick of Judah and make them one stick and they shall be one in mine hand and the sticks wherein thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes right you don't see no other other even the Negro only and the Latino only is not doing it they don't have no chart to for the people to see in the before their eyes <laughs> and they and I haven't seen none of them out on the highways and byways either for the people to even come and ask them what meanest but what meanest what thou meanest by this? You know? Verse 21, And say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into the land. This is what we're telling our people right now. Wake up. Stop. 
come back to your powers, come back to your Hawabashim Yashai, and the Most High will bring you out of this damn defiled, filthy, wicked country known as Egypt, Babylon, right? Sodom. To hell with this place, man. Fuck this place. And I'll make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, Yahushai, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. See, with this doing using this chart, we're trying to we're trying we're fulfilling prophecy because we're one nation of people. It doesn't matter how we look. See, Esau is all about oh, if your dark if your skin is dark, you're black. You're not you you, you 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 it doesn't matter if your father's white, you you're not you're not white or anything, you're just black. And then if your skin is pale, you're you're just white. If you got if you got Asian features, you're yellow. This that's what Esau does. Right? Categorizing people based on based on their skin. That you know how carnal and dumb that is? Right? But anyways, but here it is, here it is, you have us saying it's not about your skin color. It's not about your skin color, it's about your father's lineage. They don't care. It just goes in one ear, it goes out the other. You guys are just talk. You guys are just evil, man. You're just haters. You just hate white people because your skin's white. And nobody even we because you guys call yourself white. Your skin's not even white. We calling you Edomites, but if we call you Esau, you're not gonna know what we're talking about. Why? Because you're unsophisticated, and you you're not sophisticated enough to understand what we're saying. We're speaking on a higher level than you, right? Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. Right, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cause them and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their power. Right? Jumping down to twenty five, and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. How long is forever? And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. See, this hasn't happened yet. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them. I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yeah, I will be their power, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Most High, do sanctify Israel when, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore none no none of these other nations know the most high they'll know when the most high is dwelling amongst us and we're in our land and negroes latinos and native Indians are living living peaceably amongst each other and no one can bother us anymore no one can bother us anymore all right so let me close on romans 13 and 11 all right i do you know, i'm just glad that, that the most High had me stumble across that so i could just put it out there this is Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Okay, so any if y'all got if y'all know any any uh, native Indian brothers and sisters that 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 y'all know or who may be iffy on this truth, you know, you're showing most I willing to show in this video. You know, I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't just looking up, I wasn't just talking out of my mouth. I literally went on the Esau's articles and this is the, this is the time of technology. You, you, you want to look up a word, you, you don't have a dictionary on, you just type it in. You just type it up. You know, when I'm talking with my, with my boys and if some man says a term, I mean, we be arguing like, wait, wait, what, what does that mean? You know, that term mean, and then met some man just go put it up on their phones. And, and, and look it up. But these people, people that have all these smartphones and stuff, and the people are so ignorant today. They're retarded. Anyways, let's sh uh, share this video. I hope y'all. I hope it was it was good. I hope y'all edified. So I want to say, call y'all, show me y'all shy, and show show show